Welcome. This video is part of the Service Desk Configuration Series, and today we want to focus in on helping you automate the ticket process. That's done by creating workflow rules and corresponding email templates. So when you open up a ticket, automatically let your customer know, hey, we heard you and we're working on it. That same ticket automatically lets your internal resources, your engineers, technicians know they have something they need to work on. So we're going to open up the PSA, go to the admin module, and open up the business process folder. Okay, I've logged into my PSA. I'm going to go up to the top and click on the admin module. Then I'm going to move my cursor to the left, move down the folders, click business process, and then select the workflow folder. When you open up your PSA, you will have at least five examples. These are the most common workflow rules that we see out there. For example, ticket created, notify client. When you're taking calls throughout the day or emails are coming into your email parser, you don't have time to then cut and paste and send an email out to let the system do it for you. So uh, when I click a new ticket and hit save, automatically sends that email to the customer, letting them know we heard them and we're going to take care of them. It automatically sends an email to my internal employees saying, hey, here's a new ticket. Let's start work. Let's take care of our customer. Uh, another example, when we close that ticket, automatically sends it to our customer saying, hey, here's how we resolved it. Here's the notes. If you need some help, just give us a call or reply. So we want to help automate your communication to your external customers as well as your internal customers. So I'm going to click on Ticket Created Notify Client. We'll take a look at that workflow rule. You can do double click or hit the pencil to open up the record. So we're going to start top down, left to right. Ticket Created Notify Client. Uh, you can add a, a description reminding you what this workflow rule is used for. Then a trigger. This trigger is if a ticket's created, and we don't care who, if it's one of your internal employees and they click new, or if your customer sent an email into the email parser. So that's why I went with anyone. Moving down to conditions, uh, we don't care if it's in a, it, 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 there's no conditions. It's a new ticket. So we want a very generic one. Every time a new ticket's created, you know, let the customer know. So then I'm going to go to the notifications tab. This lets me pick and choose who I want the email to go to. I don't want it to go to anybody in any queues or any assigned resources. That's not what this workflow is designed for. I do want it to go to the client. So once you select client, you need to go down and make sure you have an email template. Okay, I'm gonna click the workflow button above save. It's a little breadcrumb, it takes me back a step. So that one's designed to notify the customer. This one's designed to notify your internal resources. And once you create workflow rules, you need to have email templates tied to them. So I'm gonna slide my cursor to the left, click on the email templates folder. Now you'll have at least five. I think I created another one here. Uh, let's take a look at this one. Ticket created, notify client. This email template goes along with the workflow rule we just did. So starting up top, left to right, here's the name, here's the description. Your email display may be, you're gonna put in you know, your IT company here. It just adds a little bit more description on the email going to your customer, a reminder of who's taking care of them. The from will have an email address in there. It's a required field. So when they cut the database, you're going to have your help at your company. You know, your support help at. This is going to be the same email address that you're going to create your email parser. You know, uh, the email parser is going to be extracting emails from an inbox. This should be the same in inbox. Uh, down here, your subject line, it may come with auto-generated. I remove mine. The most important feature or, or, or thing I want to point out here, excuse me, fact, is this. In the subject line, any emails going out to your customers, you want to have the hashtag ticket number in there. 
and you can hit hit the little I here to help, you know, why? If your customer responds to this system generated email, it comes back in to help at your company.com. It'll read it and add the reply as a note to the existing ticket and not try and create a new one. So that is key. I recommend you put it in uh, any email going out to your customers as well as your technicians. Then down below, uh, by building your uh, email template, it's going to pull the right content in. So let's see, I can go and add date opened, semicolon, leave my cursor there, slide my mouse over cursor here and hit double click date open, boom. And just to make it consistent, I'll bold it. I'll highlight it, go up and bold it. There, real easy. So I just adjusted the template uh, for the way I want it. And then hit save. So workflow rules, create the rules and then create the templates. It's real easy. Let me, another quick example of a workflow rule. Um, I'll hit new. Uh, so I want to note if client replies, notify tech. So if that same customer responds, it'll add a note to the existing ticket, but I want my team to know, hey, they responded. You can maybe take the next step and close out the ticket. So it's not a created by. That ticket was already created. The updated is typically by your employees. You're updating the um, status. So, But that's not the condition here, or the trigger. The trigger is activity added by clients. The fact that they sent an email back in and that activity will add a note to the existing ticket. That is what's going to trigger this. And then uh, I don't care about the conditions, the notifications. Yes, I do want to click yes to assign queues, assign resources. I don't want to click uh, uh, client and then we'd have to go and build a template. So I'm going to hit save got my rule and then to get you started a little little tip here um, take an existing template okay copy the content go up and hit save and new and then you can start to build it and this one would be uh, you know if client replies Notify tech, okay? And you wanna make sure you spell it properly, all right? And then you're gonna put support at, you know, your company in here, you're gonna put your subject line and you're gonna say, dear team, uh, ticket uh, was updated, you know, by ABC Tech and requires your assistant. Uh, and then make sure you come down, get rid of ticket details and put activity details. So that way the email that came in and updated the, the ticket, uh, the email that goes out to your resource will include that update. So you hit save. Great. The system caught me. I need to make sure I put a, a you know, a subject so I can put client. Uh, let's get these fingers working. Client. Uh, responded, you know, replied to ticket. And then I'm going to come down here and take, just copy, not do that. Uh, just copy this and you get what I'm doing and boom and paste, uh, you know, please take a look. Done. Save. And then your last step was just go back to your workflow rule, find it open it up and then uh, open it up go to your notification tab that's I'll just click the pencil and then you'll apply that workflow uh, that template to your workflow rule done that easy okay oh don't forget on your workflow rules to make sure they're active. When you get them out of the box, they will be set to no. We don't want emails flying out as you're getting your database set up. 
So once you get uh, get some workflow rules, I recommend creating a test company in your CRM using like a Gmail and then opening tickets and see how it goes, you know, back to that, you know, that Gmail. Um, so they'll be set to no, you'll have to make sure they're active. All right, so that's workflow rules, email templates, that'll help you with your service desk configuration. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.